AIMIM Chief Asaduddin Owasi criticized Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his reply to the no confidence motion in parliament saying that the speech was boring and uninspiring. He further said that the speech felt like a Mughlai Azam movie. He added we thought he would condemn those who are doing violence in Manipur. BRS and our party had also given a no confidence motion. Union Home Minister Amit Shah introduced the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita 2023 in Parliament, which will replace Indian Penal Court in 1860. The Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita 2023 and the Bharatiya Sakshya Bill 2023, which will respectively replace the CRPC of 1973 and the Indian Evidence Act of 1872, were also introduced. The bill will be sent to Parliamentary Panel, he added. A CRPF assistant commandant allegedly kicked the private parts of a 56-year-old woman in Manipur on May 12 amid violence. This case is among the 11 cases transferred to CBI. The fire station assaulted her while she was sitting in front of her shop cum house on Tidim Road and one of its guards also pointed his gun at her. Aam Aadmi Party member of parliament Raghav Chadda was suspended from Rajya Sabha today. He is accused of forging the signatures of five Rajya Sabha member of parliament in the motion to send the Delhi Services Bill to a select committee. Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar said I suspend Raghav till the council has the benefit of the report by the committee of privileges. Union Home Minister Amit Shah introduced bills for complete overhaul of colonial era Indian criminal laws and said The day include a provision of capital punishment or death penalty in mob lynching cases. The new three laws will bring the spirit to protect the rights of the Indian citizens the minister said in the parliament. New Zealand Security Intelligence Service has accused China of espionage and foreign interference. Only a small number of states engage in interference against New Zealand but some do so persistently and with the potential for significant harm the agency said in a report. China's growing assertiveness was fueled by a strategic tussle in the Asia Pacific region it added. Veteran all-rounder Shakib Al Hasan has been named as Bangladesh new one-day international captain. Shakib will lead Bangladesh in the upcoming Asia Cup and the 2023 one-day international World Cup. Bangladesh Cricket Board president Nazmul Hasan further said that their squad for both tournaments will be announced tomorrow. This comes after Tamim Iqbal decision to quit as Bangladesh one-day international captain last week.